Okay, the atom is made out of nucleus and electrons. The nucleus made of protons and neutrons. Protons carry positive charge, plus one, and neutrons do not have any charge. Uh, the electrons are found outside of the nucleus in the regions called orbitals. The orbitals in an atom, they form series of energy levels. Each electron in an atom has its own distinct amount of energy that defines which energy level it occupies. And when the electrons occupy the lowest available orbitals in the atom, the atom is said to be in the ground state. Here is the atom of oxygen in its ground state. Well, first of all, how do I know that this is the oxygen atom? Well, because I see protons, eight protons that define uh, for me that this is particular item is the atom of the oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight protons. So we're talking about oxygen. And I see eight electrons that um, that make this atom electronically neutral. So I look at the lowest possible energy level. Here it is. And I see that it holds two electrons. The lowest, the first energy level of any atom can hold only two electrons. So this particular energy level is already filled up to its brim. One, two electrons. I look at the second level and I see the remaining six electrons located all on the second level. They cannot be going any lower. That's the level they can occupy because the lower level is already completely filled up. So this is the oxygen in its ground state. If I try to write the electron configuration of this oxygen, I would write it like this. Two, six. Two electrons. Two represents the two electrons on the lowest level and six, number six, represents six electrons that are located on the second energy level. If we provide energy in the form of heat or light or electric current, the electrons can absorb this energy and move to a higher energy levels, to the energy, to the orbitals with the higher energy level. Remember that the amount of the energy of an electron corresponds to the energy level or energy orbital it occupies. So here is the energy that we provide. And our electron here absorbs the energy and it helps to jump it up to this level. And this electron as well absorbs some energy and it goes to this level. So if right now I will try to write uh, electron configuration for this atom in its excited state, it would look like this. 2 for the number of electrons on the first level. 4 that would stand for the number of electrons on the second le level. 1 for the number of electrons on the third level at the current moment. And 1 the number of electrons on the fourth level. Technically, our second level has the room to hold all electrons, but not all electrons are there. These two guys escaped. They absorbed the energy and they jumped up to the higher energy orbitals. However, the excited electrons uh, quickly return to their ground state levels. Uh, they quickly return to the lower available energy level. And as they do so, as this electron goes back to its ground state, they emit energy that was excessive, that they uh, absorbed as they were jumping up. The excessive energy emitted in the form of light. As well as with this electron, as it goes down to its ground level, as it returns back to the ground level, it will 
release some of that excessive energy in the form of light. The wavelength of the emitted light depends on the amount of the energy released. Each wavelength of the emitted light is seen as a different line of a spectroscope. For example, there was more energy released here than here. So probably here we, were, we would see a red light and over here maybe orange light, since uh, orange light is the light of the... Um, that carries on more energy. So each wavelength of the emitted light is seen as a different line in a spectroscope and each atom has its own distinct pattern of emission lines or bright line spectrum and it is used to identify elements. So what is excited state of an atom? The atom is said to be in the excited state if not all of its electrons are in the lowest possible energy levels. Consider this example of sodium. In the ground state, configuration of sodium is 2, 8, 1. There are 2 electrons on the first energy level, there are 8 electrons on the second energy level, and 8 electrons on the second level is the maximum number of electrons that can be held on the second level. And 1 electron is on the third level. The electron configuration for the excited state of the sodium is 272, which means that there are two electrons on the first level, still we have the same thing, but on the second level, one of those electrons that used to be there absorbed some energy and jumped. It jumped to the third energy level of the atom. So through, through this process, sodium haven't became an ion. The electron wasn't stolen, but it absorbed energy and it moved within atom from energy level 2 to energy level, level 3. Pay attention and be aware that on the periodic table of the elements that will be with you on the exam, you are given a ground state configuration, electron configuration of every single element. Here it is, the ground state configuration for boron, for carbon, for nitrogen, oxygen, or any other element you can see here. For example, you can see here that the ground state configuration for the aluminum is 2, 8, 3. This is our ground state. So the excited state most probably will look like 2, 7, 4. This is the excited state of the aluminum. Let's put X.